Hey guys, welcome back to my 4C experience. My channel is about product reviews, the trials and tribulations of like my hair and how I go through it. And I'll also talk about on my channel, like hair, my hair journey, the things I've learned, things that could be useful to other people and that sort of thing. So today is what this video is gonna focus on. It's gonna be really short, really quick, and it's gonna be about detangling and the tools that I use or have used in the past. With detangling, when I say it really helps with your wash day, right up until the end until you've styled your hair even if you're not even styling it to do styles if you're just styling it to sleep or styling it for under the wig like whatever you're doing it just helps with the process and making it a lot easier the current state of my hair is it's been out for four or five days i washed it and applied a curl activator to it and it's just been out i haven't twisted it i haven't combed it i haven't brushed it i haven't done anything one simple rule never detangle on dry hair so as you can see here, I've got the Cantu for natural hair coil calm detangler. You can use prior to cleansing and conditioning. Another tip, get you a spray bottle. It's from Ikea, cause you know I love Ikea. It is a gardening water bottle. So it has a little nozzle that changes the type of spray that comes out, but I like a mist. So for the first section of my hair, I'm using a wide tooth comb. I like using a wide tooth comb to detangle my hair because it's like using my fingers. There's minimal shedding and it's so quick to detangle. All of this took me about three minutes to detangle one section. It takes about 20 seconds to clean, but because it's a wide tooth comb, it means that it's like detangling with my fingers. So it means that I have to probably detangle a little bit more further down, you know, my wash day routine, which is a little bit annoying. Next is a Denman brush. I'm trying to be super unbiased here because I'm not recommending or suggesting brushes, I'm just trying to be as transparent as possible. The Denman brush has adjustable bristles, which is great. You can take out the rows. It does take a little bit longer to detangle with minimal shedding. It has a really nice glide through the hair once it's detangled. However, it does tug on hair a little bit. Now it could just be me, but I did find that Denman brush doesn't define my curls as much as it define other people's hair. Again, it could just be me. It could be a texture thing. It could be me and not having the right like routine or whatever. So just my opinion, my experience. And as you can see, to thoroughly clean the brush, it takes about three minutes. So I'll be using a tangle teaser for the third section of my hair. I find that the tangle teaser is really really good at thoroughly detangling hair but that's the only pro it takes quite some time to go through your hair I did find it, I had a lot more shedding because the bristles are a lot finer you have to kind of detangle in smaller sections and it takes forever to clean Last but certainly not least, the Felicia detangling brush. This brush detangled my hair in three minutes with about the same amount of shedding as the Denman brush. I don't really have anything negative to say. I would say the more products you have on your hair, the smoother the brush glides through your hair. So more product, more slip. It's really quick to wash. It took me about 40 seconds. As you can see, the wide tooth comb had the least amount of shedding and the tangle teaser had the most amount of shedding. Both brushes had about equal amounts of shedding. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, subscribe, like, share with somebody. Do you use any of these? What have your experiences been with? Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless.